Welcome Capricorn. This is HP Marlena's channel. How you guys doing? Today we're going to discuss your 2021 expectations for year. What's coming up as it pertains to love, money, what you have to experience overall as far as your emotions and what you're trying to overcome as well as what you're trying to leave behind. So welcome. <laughs> All right. I already started on your I started on your reading. Um, I'm trying to make these a little quicker this year. By the way, we will be coming back with the extended love readings this year. I know last year I didn't really do it, but I'm just letting you guys know. Make your way to see those as well. This is the 21 forecast, but I'll be back for the January general reading, extended love reading, and then the divine feminine readings. You guys asked for that. So I look forward to working with you guys on that. So if you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell because sometimes people tell me they haven't gotten their message. They didn't know their message came out, but it had, but you hadn't hit the bell button. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you'll know whenever I go live as well as whenever I have a message for you. So, all right. So Capricorn, what's coming out immediately is the fact that you guys want some level of freedom. This is what's coming to you next year. Look at, you have the dragon, you have the horses, as well as you have unconditional love. What does that mean for our Capricorns? So that is beautiful to start out the year, FYI. We also have here source being every step of the way with you. You're not alone. Never are you alone. It's so funny because now we have illusions right behind it with the steps, with the staircases. But I just want to let you know that this year will be a purifying year for you. All of this is to pretty much help you release some things. Okay, release some past issues, uh, some child wounding that you may be dealing with. The child came out quite a few times in this reading, um, which is letting me know that there's this inner child presence that you're needing to kind of work through. Um, a lot of this pertains to really, like I said, your upbringing. Um, it's about your confidence level. Um, so this is just letting me know that this year you'll be working on your confidence level as it pertains to overcoming some childhood wounding, making some choices, um, really just kind of seeing the, you know, being aware of some of the, what are you saying? They're saying a word that I, I don't even get. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing like epitaph or like being aware of. And I just feel like they mean like just some of your um, mannerisms, things of that nature. Some of the things that you're doing um, that may be stemming from some type of childhood wounding that you may not be aware of. So just just look up that word. If I don't know what that means. guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But, um, okay, so, but this year, this is just letting you know that, you know, you can rely on oneself, that you are empowered, and I do see fulfillment coming for you in this next upcoming year, and it has a lot to do with paying attention to the reality of certain situations um, and your connection, how you are really connecting to certain people, connections, as well as I see the B over here, which is letting me know these are things, new things that you have to deal with, that you're attending with. The B is a very busy spirit. It's really spending time working on your, working on what, what you're trying to bring into fruition. You know, this is what you're proud of, what you enjoy doing, making money, you know. Um, these are all of those things. So yeah, that is, yes. And again, a freedom that comes with this. So this is financial freedom as well. So like I said, um, as far as your spiritual, like your spiritual journey for this year, like I said, I really feel as though this is dealing with a lot of childhood wounding. So if there's certain things that's coming up, just try to think about what happened when you were a child and what that meant and how this really resonates with whatever you've gone through already. I hope that makes sense. Like you may feel like they're telling me to give you an example. Like you may feel like, um, you may feel like, you know, uh, someone's trying to get over on you, for instance, and just try to think of that moment when, 
you know, a long time ago when someone tried to get over on you in the past, like try to think of childhood getting over on, like somebody who might have tried to get over on you while you were in elementary school. You're like, well, what the, you know? <laughs> so those are the types of things that you're, that's going to start coming up this year that you're going to be tending with. And, um, and th this spirit here, um, as far as your spiritual journey, this is very important. Your energy, uh, being aware of your energy. Look at that. I just want you to look at how this is a pouring of your energy. So you're going to be getting a wake up call this year as well. Um, if you haven't already, if you have already, it will be taking it to the next level. Um, I hope you guys see like this has like orbs all around this person. So that's communication. That's knowing that you are being guided. Wow. Wow. Actually, all three of these have orbs all around it. Look at that, guys. The child has orbs. So this is just letting me know. And it's so interesting because I've never noticed this in any other reading before in these cards. But this is letting me know that you have communication around you. You have spirits around you that's been communicating with you ever since you were a child. So whatever you feel as though was going on, you were right. Um, I, I'm, I'm here to tell you you were right. They're telling me to make sure you guys know you were right. Somebody tried to deny you your knowledge and your understanding of what was going on with you. And I just need to tell you guys you were right. So leave your comments below. I would love to hear your perspective as this pertains to, as this pertains to your journey. But um but yes you were right and um now you're being rewarded in so many ways because now you're starting to see so this is spirit trying to bring you out of this sense of illusion here and bring you to a place of unconditional love which requires a level of freedom okay so your third eye chakra came out here as well so again this is letting me know your third eye chakra is going to be permeating this year um and just listen to your inner guidance. I, I really feel as though this year is speaking a lot to seeing beyond the illusions and your true inner guidance. Let me turn on the light. I feel like it's kind of dark, guys. <laughs> uh, but this is really speaking to your inner guidance. Like, no joke. Like, you guys can't even fathom the guidance you have around you. And it's, it's here. Okay? I hope that looks better. Okay, so let's go ahead and look into your love a little bit. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and guides. So, what came out in regards to love for you guys? Um, some of you may be leaving behind an ex. Um, this can be energies that have been kind of following you all year. Uh, maybe there's someone who's kind of been, I feel like someone, I'm hearing the coattail, like kind of just holding on to your coattail a bit, just kind of um in that energy of just hanging on um and i'm seeing here this freedom again so i'm just letting you guys know look at these horses this is about action movement forward leaving behind what's no longer serving you um so this is a, a a leveling up here it's time for you to take back control of your life see this year is going to be all about you taking an accountability for your life that's all this this year is about you taking accountability this um this is, this is reminding me of releasing like a victimhood mentality, you know, what people have done to you, leaving behind that spirit of, but they did this to me, um, and you're not feeling like you have any control over it. This is, um, this, this year is showing that you really do have control. You, you are seeing the level of power and control you have over certain situations, and you're, you're taking that extra step further to walk in that power i'm hearing exalt i'm hearing um i'm gonna say exalt in that power or exalt walk in that power they're saying exalt um y'all can look that up too you know but i, I kind of feel what they're saying like exalting something like you know but nonetheless this is this is for you not for me uh, <laughs> although i do have Cappy in my chart somewhere i assume <laughs> um because i believe that we all got all this stuff in our chart somewhere i mean <laughs> most things in our chart somewhere so just make sure you look at your chart anyway but but th remember this is a general reading make sure you look at your sun moon rising and venus signs at the very least um but a lot of these messages have valuable information for just your walk in life so we also have here finances and career so um financial issues are a factor in your love life at this time so as well as this could be the one so i do see you having someone new coming into the picture 
Um, even if it's the past person, because it's so interesting, I see like the, um, and this could be around February and that's what they're telling me. Okay. So you have someone new coming into your life somewhere around February. I'm noticing like these, um, cupids in this message here. And, um, so, so you may be meeting someone I just heard. Okay. Around February. So this is about, so if you're able to kind of release the past, like what you've been dealing with, who you've been dealing with here in the past, then that opens doors to your future, okay? Um, this year will also be a time of rejuvenation, okay? So this is a level of patience some of you may have to, and I'm really feeling the need to tell you that this is a time to really listen. Uh, take time to meditate, whatever that is for you. Meditation doesn't have to take 20, 30 minutes. I can meditate in literally minutes um, and center myself and ground myself. And that message also came out here for you. Just like going in nature, being around trees, walking in the grass, barefoot, you know, that kind of thing. That's how easy it is to kind of center yourself, ground yourself. It doesn't have to take that long and um, it can be a bit more speedy. Let me look into what you are needing to leave behind. All right, guys. So actually, you also have a... So you have um, your heart chakra is coming up right now and the world. Okay, so this is you come in full circle as it pertains to what really love is, what love really is. Leaving behind old stereotypical ideals regarding what love is. And this is you finally, you know, getting resolution um, as it pertains to what love really is. I love this. What else are they leaving behind? And I'm going to get you guys some advice. Let me go ahead and get you guys some advice and get on out of here. Wow. Yes. I love this because it's speaking to other possibilities, adjacent possibilities, it's speaking to all these different doors that seem to be unopenable. <laughs> I'm making words up now. Um, but it's speaking to uh, options that you didn't think you had. And there are options here. So this is about you closing one door, opening another to other options and opportunities that you weren't even aware of. Again, you have this message of releasing yourself, freeing yourself. This is a message called all tied up, which speaks to being stuck and stuck in certain places. This came in reverse. You see what I'm saying? This is how it looks. It came in reverse. So it's speaking again to you releasing. Um, this to me is mind frames, releasing um stuck mentalities uh ways of thinking that keep you stuck in a proverbial uh cycle if you will okay so let's go ahead and um get you guys some advice thank you holy spirit ancestors angels and guys um and i look forward to seeing you guys again please make sure you subscribe thumbs up um that's the easiest way to really support the channel. If you're interested in any clean cleansing rituals, especially around January, this is the time to kind of cleanse your space, cleanse your, um, cleanse your home, all these great things. This is the time for that. So FYI, if you need sage, any sage bundles, 2021, uh, is a time right, right at January 1st is the time to kind of cleanse your home and do all of that. And I have sage and all kinds of things on my website. Uh, you can see below at gracefulhealingretreat.com. So your, your, okay, your advice, dream the world into being, be loyal to what you love. This is about loving. Again, this is that loving energy of not feeling like you have to fit into the stereotypical idealisms of love. This is about seeing outside of that. So this is about being loyal to what it is that you love not what other people want you to love, not how other people want you to love, but really what that means. And dreaming your world into being. This is the lizard spirit. This is about creation. Again, you know, speaking to thinking outside the box, right? I love this. Uh, let's see what last bit of advice we have for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, gods. For our Capricorns, I want to get your um, advice regarding finances as well. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and guides. Ooh, okay. 
Wow, this is so amazing. You guys got the world again, okay? <laughs> Look at this. You guys got the world again. You have quite a few of major arcanas that came out for you. Um as it pertains to love as well. I mean, as it pertains to love, money, but you have the chariot that came out and the magician. Oh, wow. This is about fast movement. The chariot is about movement forward. The magician is about creation, manifesting, making it do what it do. Okay. It specifically speaks to you can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. I love this Capricorn. Determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others as well. So you're going to be in the forefront. People are going to be watching you. So the world speaks to a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So what you've gone through, just remember that everything that you've gone through, there's nothing that you've gone through that was a waste. Some of you may be feeling like, I can't believe I took so much time. I didn't know this before. You may be kind of being hard on yourself. Don't do that. This is the time to be grateful. Thank you for those experiences. Thank you for what I've gone through. Thank you. Why? Because it brought me here. Because it got me this. Because now I'm here. And now I have the knowledge. You could still be back there. Know that. Boom. Okay. Um, it's important to have balance. Working multiple jobs and projects at once. Make work fun. So uh, don't forget to continue to love life. You know, um, we're all here to really experience life. Appreciate what you chose to come here. Know this. Remember this. You chose to come here. You came here with a blank slate. Like, I can do this. Think of it like a game. And, and I'm going to tell you guys, this is always the way I looked at my life ever since I was a child. I was like, this is like a big ass chessboard. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Like, this is a huge like game. And it's really about you trying to overcome and grow in certain ways. You cannot grow without challenges. Remember that. I love you guys. Blessings, love, and light. I'll talk Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.